The sites of iron absorption are confined to the duodenum and upper small intestine. Here is the mucosa of this part of the intestinal canal. The metabolic control of iron balance follows an unusual pattern. It is determined almost entirely by variation in intestinal absorption. Let us stop to have a closer look at the mucous membrane with its core of blood vessels and lymphatics. The intestinal mucosa is being continuously renewed. Cell division takes place in the crypts at the base of the villi and the newly formed cells slowly displace the older ones. This process of enteropoiesis involves a considerable volume of cellular activity. Eventually, in about four to five days, they are shed into the intestinal canal from the tips of the villi. Each day, some 10 to 15 milligrams of iron contained in the daily diet passes this way. But only about 10% of dietary iron is absorbed. The intestinal mucosa accepts iron only in the reduced ferrous state. Contrary to previous belief, it is now known that organic forms, such as hemoglobin iron, may also be absorbed. The heme complex as a whole enters the cell and its iron is released here. Within the cell, iron is carried towards the bloodstream. <laughs> 